Hi, this is Danny again. One of my goals has been just to do stuff at home and not on the boat because when you do stuff on the boat, I, I tend to shortcut things, talk with the neighbors and not get any work done. So um, it's best to have, one thing that's helped is to have a power supply like this one here that I've kind of showed you. And if I can have a power supply, then I don't need batteries at the boat. The other thing um, I can do is I've got a battery over there and I, you know, I, I've been able to have my LiPo battery here where, I, where so I can test it along with, with everything I need, um, parts, I can use my garage. But one thing that I hadn't thought of that has been really important is to have a source for discharging. And those things, I see them online. I've watched a lot of videos, probably like you have, and these things are really expensive, the dischargers. I'm going to show you real quick a discharger you can get from Banggood or AliExpress or probably Amazon that has been really nice to have just to test, you know, my equipment So before I actually put it on the boat. So I have a tester I bought right here, and... Uh, probably cost me about thirty dollars and it's a really nice uh, thing it has a nice display and you can set um, you can set um, set values on the voltage and uh, you can also um, have um, set times as it turns out so you can run say for an hour down to that set value or you could set for, for whatever you want to run. And um, so I really like the system. And then um, you just go about turning it on. Um, let's see, here we go. And then uh, it should start running here. There it goes. So it has a really nice high quality fan. And so what I do is I just hook it up to a loads, uh, a loads panel. And um, I've been using, it keeps track of the um, amps. And I've been using also um, this system here to uh, my BMS system to keep track of the amps. But um, it's been fairly, seems like it's been fairly accurate on the amps. Um, it's voltage measurement. It has a separate voltage in that I'm not running. That's why the voltage isn't quite right. But now I'm running this down. I'm probably going to run my batteries down to about 12.8 just to cycle them and see how much time I really have. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.